On the top left side of the page are the filtering controls. Using these controls, you can select which issues to include in the report. Below that is the toolbar that contains buttons and panels that will allow you to set various report parameters. On the left side of the toolbar is the report type selection. Here you see that Time and Status has various report types. We'll go into the details of each one and talk about their use cases. Once a report is prepared, you will see the report output as a data table on the page. For example, for the status duration report here, you can see each issue as a row, the statuses in the report as columns, and the time each issue spent on each status as column values. At the top left of the report table, time and status displays the total number of issues in the report. The output table also offers sorting and paging options to browse through the data. To get the issues used for reporting, Time and Status generates a jQuery query based on your selections. At the bottom of the report table, you will see a link that displays this jQuery query, and when clicked, it will take you to Jira issue search page pre-populated with that query. Some report types also offer charts. When you hover over the report table with your mouse, you will see that some buttons appear. These buttons will open a window to display the charts based on the selected data.